the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for our main event. Ten rounds in the middleweight division. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do, as round one is underway. Good defense, just covering up down low. What does Oscar need to be aware of facing a power puncher like he is tonight? Well, that Oscar has a good defense. <laughs> I mean, that is something that they've worked on throughout his amateur career into his pro career. He knew he had to be the full package. I'm going to tell him before, if he's my fighter, I'm going to say, show me that dimension. I know you're good offensively. Show me how good you are defensively. There he goes with the right hand again. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Oscar De La Hoya. Up to now, side to side. Good block by De La Hoya. De La Hoya's combination punching is working well here. Lands the counter. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. Look at that combination by Oscar De La Hoya. Final 10 seconds of round number one. What is it that you've really admired about Shane Mosley in the ring? Well, first of all, his presence, you know, his confidence. He kind of commands the stage, so to speak. He understands when he's in there that he can handle anything that's in front of him. He has great speed. You have to like that. And he has the ability to go after you, but he can step back. He can counter well. Here we go, round two is underway. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Combination to the head. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. De La Hoya's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good exchange. He fires back. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Unable to make an impact there by the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> Mosley's hit by a counter punch there. Mosley's punches are way off the mark. 
He's been committed to throwing plenty of them. He just hasn't been committed to hitting plenty of the targets. No, and it's not like his opponent suddenly became the invisible man. I mean, he's right there in front of him. It's just that he's tired, and these punches are coming from left field, and guess what? They're not getting to the plate. There's another left hand from him. Round comes to an end here. Glad you've joined us ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas on another night at the fights. We're with you all year long, every step of the way, as is our crew. And the guys just don't get enough credit sitting back there in the production truck, but they make all this happen, Teddy. Yeah, they do, of course. Rick, Robbie, Mike, all you guys, Brian, Scott, Russ. We appreciate you doing all the difficult work while we get a chance to sit out here and uh, enjoy the fun part. And by the way, you guys, after we just said that, you guys are picking up the tab tonight. Dave Ahoya is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it had to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. What an impact that left hand just made by Sugar Shane Mosley. Nice two-punch combo by Oscar De La Hoya. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Oscar De La Hoya. Dave Hoya is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Sugar Shane Mosley. And now another left. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Oscar De La Hoya is doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there is a good example of the benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. Right back to the body. Good work defensively by Sugar Shane Mosley. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Three rounds in the books. De La Hoya's in control. Teddy, he's up with a clean sweep on your scorecards. Yeah, and I like the way he's doing it. You know, he's making the guy come to him, he's making him miss, and he's scoring all the clean punches. Nice jabs there by the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Sugar Shane Mosley, and bang, and away he goes. That combination puts him down. Okay. One, two, three. Mosley down. He rises up to continue on, but he does not look good. Sugar Shane Mosley. Looks like he's damaged. Looks like those legs have been overcooked. Looks like spaghetti legs. Right now, he has to stay in front of his opponent and grab him. If he tries to use those legs, they get in more trouble. And he's holding. Step to the side and then lands the counter. Yeah, disappear on him, and then all of a sudden appear on him. Dave Hoya is doing well here with that two-punch combination. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example of it. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. And you know what? That kind of speed can intimidate a guy and keep his opponent maybe from moving his hands later on. Very accurate two-punch combo by Oscar De La Hoya. Mosley's cut is really not a good sign. What an excellent two-punch combo by Sugar Shane Mosley. 
Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Oh, hands up, hands up. De La Hoya's gathering himself.